Now today, I've come to the north gate of Dali Old Town. And I'm starting here for a reason. I'm going to walk from the north gate to the south gate and show you the stark contrast. You'll, you'll see around me there's almost no tourists at all. And this is a beautiful gatehouse, absolutely gorgeous. Great place to get photographs. We're going to head through the big stone tunnel here. Anyhow. Now, I had this horrible feeling. Did I get my north and south the wrong way round? I think this is the north gate. We're heading to the south. So we're now entering into Old Dali, the historic old walled city of Dali, which doesn't really have a wall around it anymore. At this end of the city, it's touristic, but it's not hugely touristic. It's going to get a lot more so as we get uh, close to the South Gate. I don't know why. There are great shops here selling all sorts of tourist knickknacks. So we're basically going to walk straight through the heart of Dali Old Town. And you'll see along the way there are lots of these old mansions. This one is almost a, a temple. This might be a hotel. I'm not 100% sure. But beautiful historic buildings all the way through. There is a restriction on height of buildings here in Dali, no higher than three stories. And anything that's built new has to be in the old style. So the old Chinese style. And most of the buildings here seem to be old buildings that have been occupied as homes at one time and turned into shops. The old waste bins even have the little Chinese slanted roofs on them. So you've still got a lot of trees lining the centre of the street and a little further up and I think probably why it's more touristic, you have a beautiful stream that runs through the middle of the town. I have found at this end, at the North Gate end, the prices for shopping and things are a little more uh, reasonable. Same products to be honest but a little more reasonable. For some reason, I have no idea why they allow cars to come down through this high street. It's way too narrow, far too many pedestrians, but they do. Look at the rooftops. Now it's school out time, so we're going to see a lot of students in their blazers, blue sort of blazers and trousers. It's also coming up to mid-autumn festival. There's something on at the moment where they're selling these, these cakes. So they're anywhere from about 25 RMB to 45, 50 RMB. Ni hao. Ni hao. How are you? Chán Trung Hương ạ. Ni hao. This street here actually is where Michelle and I went to the market. Or Xu and I actually, I think, went to the market. Um, there's a lovely wet market up here. I've got a video up showing the wet market. It'll either go up a little before this one, perhaps a little after. There's a butcher's here. There are many, many butchers in the wet market. It's absolutely, what a fantastic wet market. You really should check out the video. It's great. so easy to get hit by one of these bikes. At this end of the, the market there seem to be a lot of clothing stores, very cheap, you know, 49 for jackets, 49 that's probably a little more expensive. So we're still in what I class as the lower or downtown area of Dali. Uh, 
bit further up here we'll cross a, a, a main street and then head into the more touristic area Yeah, now I'm looking at this area, it's a lot plainer than the, the upper section or the uptown version. Here we have the uh, Dali Cinema. The old town, old town cinema. I'm just going to film the whole walk through. It might get a bit boring at times, but it's around about five o'clock in the evening. Things are going to get a lot hotter, a lot more busy as we go up through the high street. So this is the main road. We've got the soldiers here, the police, the police policing this corner. I might get into trouble again. I've already nearly been arrested for making videos around the police before. Oh, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. Hopefully they'll give me no trouble. But there's at least maybe five or six of them here. You just see to my, my left there, there's a police truck or an army truck and all the guys. I once filmed near some soldiers, they, they forced me to delete the video. So here we are, we're starting now. This is old school, old town Dali. And this is the section where I think it's a lot more touristic and mainly I think because of this lovely stream that runs down through the old town. Warning, falling into water. We better not do that then, had we? It's really, really beautiful, this old Dali town centre. If there's one complaint I would have is a, a repetitiveness of the store. So you'll see stores selling um, dried meat over here, shoes, there'll be some uh, flower cakes and before long you'll see it repeated. So there's another one here, selling dried meat, shoes, shoes behind me. So you can tell it's a, a touristic town because of the repetitiveness, fruit. This guy does fruit juices. Hello, how are you? Sweets. This guy doing some repairs. These little fruit stores all around Dali, when you first see them, they're fantastic, but we're going to see at least 30 of them. So, thank you. So the idea is you get, uh, oh, the music's too loud, I'll jump out. But the idea is you get a basket and fill up the fruit. It's five RMB for 500 grams and they'll cut it up and prepare it for you. And then there's these other stores that are selling what looks like beef jerky. So it's peppered and non-peppered beef jerky. And then inside they've also got the, the dried herbs. I'm not gonna be doing tours in the shop. Not on this walkthrough, we've got a lot of street to cover. Look at these beautiful buildings though. I'll try some. Thank you. Yes, yes. These are little like rice crackers. They're actually really tasty. Mmm. They remind me a little bit of um, potato chips. Let's get rid of those.
I've got food in my mouth now. Beautiful mountains behind us. And how well they're keeping this tourist route here. The flowers are beautiful. Wow, it's changed. It's changing. Now, way up ahead of me, I can see the the sort of central gateway, which is, a, I think, the southern gate. Actually, the southern gate itself is a little bit past this one, so I've got a way to go yet. How pretty is this, though? This is a supermarket. I'll try and do a video in a supermarket for you and show you inside a Chinese supermarket. They are amazing. I mean amazing to me anyway. I love walking around supermarkets. We'll do that in another video. Thought there was a car coming behind me. It's just a, a guy dragging boxes. Now I'll show you what I mean by these buildings. Look at the majesty of that building there. And they're all free to enter. You can just go inside and have a wander around. But when you get inside, it gets really quiet. And there are trees and places to sit. We're not gonna go in there now. I want to get up to the North Gate. I wanna show you a complete walk through the center of Dali. I'm turning the camera around now. Hello. So you can see the streets. Lots of silversmiths. This is a fried cheese. And this one they put with like a plum sauce. And you back to the jerky again. Shoes. It does get a little repetitive. When you first arrive here though, you won't. If you walk down here one time, you'll be so taken with everything. It's only because we've been here three or four days that I started to see the repeat in the retail stores. Now how about this? You won't see many McDonald's looking quite as majestic as this one does. Looks great from the outside, same stuff on the inside. I'm going to walk alongside the stream. Warning, falling into water. Now I'm going from the north to the south, but there's lots of little roads that run off this main thoroughfare here. And trust me, uh, no thank you, thank you. I can't keep eating. They're always handing out snacks. <laughs> but I don't want to be crunching my way all the way through the video. So what I was saying, there are loads of little uh, roads and alleyways that run off of this main street and they go quite some distance. So they go uh, about the same distance again. It's a square. Dali is a square city and we're going pretty much through the center of it. They almost look like weeping willows, don't they? They almost look like willows, but they're... Um, yeah, closer to a eucalypt tree than a willow. It's 
So, again. We're coming up to another beautiful archway. This is not, as far as I know, the south gate. That's a little bit further up. We will see. See, that's the little fruit packs that people buy. Very reasonable. It's about 70 cents US for half a kilo, for about a pound. So now we're up to another one of these gorgeous looking gates. I mean, it's similar. Take a look. So it's very similar to the other gate. Rather go through the rather than going through the centre this time, I'm going to go around the outside just to show you. You can. We've got the lily ponds here, and around the outside of the this huge gatehouse are all these uh, beautiful lily ponds and more shops selling endless sort of knickknacks but really nice so that, uh, I've got the military again with me hopefully we're not going to get in trouble I think it was more the army up at the other gate where you can get into bother well I know you can because I got into bother and got asked to delete my video uh, when I went even near them so we've just come around the outside of that gate rather than going through the tunnel We're coming back to the central boulevard, thoroughfare, whatever you want to call it. All the water running down these culverts. They'd be called culverts? Anyway, all the water running down is spring water from the mountains. And it is actually said to be drinking water, though I wouldn't drink it. I wouldn't drink it. Um, from these streams not with the amount of people around but look just off we're coming off that road just a little bit so I can show you this beautiful circular stone it's an arch but it's a full circle and the water coming down and the mountains in the background how gorgeous is that so we're not going up there but at, maybe we will go up there in a minute I'll come back because actually that has a lot of bars almost like karaoke bars or music bars and at night time that's the place to be if you don't want to be heard because it's noisy 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 anyway onwards we've got to get up to the uh, the south end of the town See just ahead of me, uh, see just ahead of me, the lady with the baby on her back. It looks so pretty. The baby's legs are straight. And up here on the right is the Dali Museum. This is the mansion of Dali, the tea mansion of Dali, and this building here. This is the, the Dali Museum and it's free to enter. It's really nice inside. It's got, oh, it's closed. <laughs> I was gonna run in there and just show you around, but uh, we have been in there before, but it's closed at the moment. But if, you, if you're in Dali, do go and check out the museums and do go to a lot of these, um, they look like temples on the side of these roads. Go inside, they're peaceful, quiet, great places to sit and eat. More beef jerky, more wooden toys. Anyhow, more fruit. 
I think they're all franchise businesses. I love the tea shops. There, we probably passed a couple of hundred of them just walking up here. But these shops all sell um, pu'er tea. Pu'er tea is the tea from the Yunnan province, and they sell it in these little pucks, these little discs here, like this. lady didn't ask me to buy one so I get away quick while I'm ahead another fruit store selling the fruit five RMB for I think it's a pound or 500 grams a little over a pound so what, what I was saying about these small streets that run up and down up to the mountains here and down but but also to the mountains because there are mountains surrounding the whole the whole of this town Hello. The people here are so friendly compared to some cities I've been to. Generally, you get a really positive reception from almost everybody and they don't mind you filming. Another store that you'll see dozens of, I haven't actually jumped into one just yet, but this sort of store. Selling horns. There must be 20 of them on this street. Can't imagine who's going home with a horn. Did you spot any off the sides as I've walked up? Did you spot any? Anyway, we're coming up to the south gate. It's an equally beautiful and impressive gate. Let me know what you think. You can always rewind to the beginning, look at the north gate, look at the south gate, and tell me what you think, how they compare. In the evening times, you'll see all the silversmiths. They come out here, particularly when it gets busy, and they'll be just, they'll be bashing a piece of silver just to attract the tourists in. I don't think they're making anything. They do make stuff here, but they're not really making anything. They're just hammering away on silver to attract the tourists in. I just want to show you these uh, cloth shoes. These are the shoes that are from this region. They're really good. I mean, 29 RMB, that's around about, that's about six uh, Australian. So it's probably under maybe 450. Really nice shoes. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good. More tea, more silver, more flower cakes, more silver, more tourists. Now you notice people have this um, thing in their ear. All the, the guys that are passing me here, they've got a little black thing in their ear. And there'll be a tall guy at the front of that group and she's talking into a little microphone and they're all listening to the tour. Here is, if I've got it right, it's the South Gate. So what do you think? South Gate or North Gate? Which one is prettier? I'll go through the tunnel on this one. They put um, some wooden barriers on the side probably to stop people from uh, breaking the stone down it's echoey in here now because it's cooler today and we've had rain most of the morning it'll be quieter but it is not as quiet as the other end take a look So there you go. This is the south gate. And at this end, on a warmer day like, it, like yesterday, you will have hundreds of people taking their, their selfies, selfies here. So there you have it. That's a walk through the center of Dali, so you get a feeling. It is a beautiful city. Would I recommend coming here? Yes, I would. It's just a gorgeous city. 
the mountains above us, up these roads here, it's, it's just the freshness of the air, air. They call this region, or they call many of the cities, the cities of eternal spring. The weather Michelle and I have found has been really pleasant. Even on a, on a cooler day with the gray clouds above us today, I'm still only in uh, shorts and t-shirts. It's got to be around about maybe 23 degrees Celsius. It is gorgeous. Now, what I might do is turn the camera off here, and if I can, I'll film a little bit up that street where the little waterfall and stream was coming down and just show you um, one of the side streets. Let's get down there. Okay, we're back at the street with that beautiful little rapids of water coming down. I'm gonna head up here because this is one of the many popular streets um, in Dali. At night time, uh, this becomes a bit of a sort of hub hub of music. I think it's too early, plus it's a, it's a Wednesday night, so it's a little quieter. There's one thing I will say, Dali does get a lot busier on weekends than during the weekdays. And I'm always surprised how many people just seem to come here for a couple of days. One day sometimes only. And I think Dali itself is worth a lot more than just a couple of days visit. It's just too beautiful uh, an old town not to spend maybe a week here if you can afford the time. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine how many people fall in the water after a few drinks? You're going to see why there's bars all the way up this street. Can you imagine how many people would fall in? So this is the start of the sort of nightclub area. And you'll see here still this, this beautiful old building. And in an evening time, we've got a bouncer outside. But of an evening, they have music playing in here. Hello, how how are you? They have really loud music and bands. You can see them through the windows because it's dark out here. So it's dark out here, but it's light inside. They're starting or they're testing. So you see the stage. The stage up here will be have dancers, and loud music. probably just about got here maybe half an hour or so before it starts kicking off so uh, I won't get too many copyright strikes but how pretty is this it's almost charming until you come up here at around about eight, nine o'clock at night. And the sound coming out of these bars is completely thumping and you, you can't hear yourself. This isn't a place to come and sit and talk with friends. You can't hear a word. So it's only a short street. And at the top here, you've got these lovely stones. The area of uh, Dali is famous for carving these stones. There's a lot of quarries out here. And just above the street, again, you can barely see it for the clouds. We've got this beautiful backdrop of the mountains that surround Dali. <laughs> I'm probably gonna repeat myself, but should you come here, you bet. One of the nicest cities I've been to for a long time. All right. I'm going to end this here. Hope you've enjoyed this little tour and walk through the centre of the old town of Dali. Take care, love to you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Be good. Now, tucked among the tea shops and restaurants of Dali are supermarkets that you can barely even recognise as such. 
Normally when we worship at the altar of a supermarket in the West, they're very easy to find. This one here almost blends in to its surrounding. Today I'm going to take you into a local Dali. Whoops, they've just turned the lights on. That'll mess up with the lighting. We're going to take you into a local Chinese supermarket here in Dali, Hunan. And uh, as long as they let me film in here, we can get away with it.